For this session, I'd like you to find a chair that you can sit on that's in front of a desk or a flat surface where you can comfortably put your elbows on the desk. Does that make sense? So a chair in front of the desk where you can have your elbows on the desk. This is a similar to a session we did earlier called Pearls and Eyes. But this time we are going to be sitting at a desk and doing some different variations if you've done that session before. So just take a moment and get situated, however you do. If you need to press pause and go find the desk, that's fine. And then get yourself in a balanced position on the chair. And then put your elbows on the desk. And hold the fingers of your hand so that your thumb and your index finger of both hands face towards your face or point towards your face. Do you have that? So you're looking at your thumb and index finger. And then close your eyes, please. And think for a moment of the distance of each index finger from each eye. Try to get a sense of how far away your hands are from your eyes. And think to yourself, how are you doing it? Are you measuring the distance via sight? Now your eyes are closed, so are you measuring the distance, say, in your imagination? Are you perhaps feeling the sensation of each index finger and then feeling the sensation of each eye and then somehow kinesthetically trying to discern the distances? Does that make sense? So feeling in your body how far away each index finger is from the eye or from the face. Well, maybe you could take another reference point, such as your nose, and feel the dis distance from each index finger to the nose. And is each hand an equal amount away from the face? Is each hand an equal amount from each eye? So right index finger to the right eye, left index finger to the left eye. And could you make a straight line from each index finger to the eye on the same side? So both at the same time. All right. And drop that and only think of the light going from your right index finger to your right eye. A ray of light and make it go straight from your right index finger to your right eye. And by the way, at any time during this session, without me asking you to, if you want to lower your hands and rest, both of your elbows should be on the desk, so it should be relatively comfortable. Good. And now take that ray of light and make it a black thread. A black thread. And you want that black thread going from the middle of your right index finger to the middle of your right eye. Do you have that? And then in your mind's eye, can you have a pearl? Put a pearl on that thread and have it go from your index finger to your eye very slowly. So you follow the movement of that pearl that's on the thread like a, the pearl of a bracelet. And it goes towards your eye, and then it touches your eye, and then it goes back away from your eye. And you are looking at it, following it the entire time, really seeing that pearl, feeling it in your mind's eye. It's on the thread. It goes away from your face and touches your right index finger. Good. And at some point, I am wondering, could you have the pearl stop exactly midway between your right eye and your right index finger? 
have it stop and then look at it and really get a sense. Is it in the middle? How, how could you know? If someone was looking at you from the outside and they could see your pearl, would they see that it's right in the middle? All right, and can you go from that middle and create another middle between the the pearl where it is now and your right index finger? Good, and can you take the half that's between the middle and your face and put the pearl there? So between the middle and your right eye, what's that like? And can you gently move it between those three places? So the middle, the middle of the forward half, the middle of the back half, and really get a sense that you can follow it with your eyes. What's that like? And then once again, have it slide between your index finger and your eyes, focusing on it the entire time. Is it easier now? Is it simpler? Good. Now please stop. Keep your eyes closed. If you're comfortable having your eyes closed. If not, you can open them. And just lower your hands down to your lap and rest your arms for a moment. Good, and please put your arms, your elbows on the desk again. Have your thumb and index finger of both hands pointing towards your face. You can actually have your index finger and your thumb touching if that would make it easier for you. And again, have a line, a black thread going from your right index finger to your right eye. And take a few seconds to put the pearl exactly in the middle, exactly halfway between your eye and your index finger. Really take a moment that you can sense and do that in whatever way that you do. And when you have it, keeping your eyes closed, reach up, please, with your left hand and take that imaginary pearl in your left hand. You're actually moving your left arm and hand, so you're, uh, like you're grabbing it. And when you have it, open your eyes and try to get a sense. Is your hand actually in the middle between your right index finger and your right eye? Or not so much? Now with your eyes open, uh, Put the hand where you think the middle is. You take your best approximation, your best feeling for now. And then close your eyes, leaving your hand where it is, holding the pearl right in the middle. And now move your hand towards your index finger as if it's moving the pearl until it touches the right index finger or near where the right index finger is. Now keep your eyes closed. It doesn't matter if you actually touch your right index finger. Just go in that direction. See where you touch or feel where you touch. And then come back in the other direction towards your right eye. All right. It can be a little bit strange. Very few people with their eyes closed can move the hand from the right index finger to the right eye. But just try it a couple of times. Feeling your body and your breathing and the movement of your arms and your feet on the floor and your bottom on the chair and just get a sense of your movement dynamics. How can you make the movement a little more accurate? All right, so that was just a little bit of a sample there. I don't know how much you can see in my camera, but I was fascinated by something that happens quite often when I do these sessions. Maybe it's happened to you, but you know, the breathing kind of changes. 
uh, muscles in the face begin to relax. And I stopped a moment ago to look at the camera. I wanted to see if I could see, I wanted to record actually, if there was a difference between the two pupils of my eye, because doing the movements with the pearl on this eye really just ooh, relaxed and opened up the eye, and I wanted to see if I could see it. So that's just a, a small sample of a session called Pearls and Eyes. Originally a session that Moshe Feldenkrais taught in uh, his Alexander Unai studio and uh, whenever it was, could have been the 50s, the 60s, or even the 70s. I think he was there for quite a number of years. It's normally done sitting on the floor, and I have a session sitting on the floor, but because I'm at my desk, many of us are at our desks, I recorded a uh, session on the desk. But again, that was just one little small piece of all kinds of really cool movement variations. Uh, if you have a chance to do the session, check it out. Okay.